Katniss Everdeen. District 12. Thank you for your consideration. Revision allowing for two victors from the same district has been revoked. And only one victor may be crowned. Good luck, and may the odds be ever in your favor.
Go ahead. One of us should go home. One of us has to die. They have to have their victor. No. They don't. Why should they? No. Trust me. Trust me. What about you, girl on fire? Any secrets worth my time? I'm an open book. Everybody always seems to know my secrets before I know them myself. Unfortunately, I think that's true. I'm sorry you had to cancel your wedding. I know how devastating that must be for you. Have a good day. Peter. Finnick. What do you want? To know all my secrets. Hmm. I have to get in line. No waving and smiling this time. I want you to look straight ahead as if the audience in this whole event are beneath you. That should be easy. Press this when you're ready. Good luck. Well, or my favorite. <laughs> He's a good guy. Carry on. You guys look amazing. Thank you. My stylist is such an idiot. District 7, lumber, trees. Oh, I'd love to put my ax in her face. So what do you think? Now that the whole world wants to sleep with you. I don't think that the whole world... I wasn't world... talking to you. You want Thanks. 
Let's do it again sometime. Thank you. Joanna Mason, District 7. I think we're all here a little disappointed, more than a little disappointed, that a certain wedding did not take place. Are we folks? Mm, alas. But am I correct in assuming that this is the gown that you would have worn on that day, yes or no? Yes, President Snow thought everyone would want to see it. Well, President Snow, as usual, was right. <laughs> was he not, folks? I love it! I love it! Don't you love it, folks? It's incredible! It's so gorgeous! Will you do us the honor, please? Please, please. Jay. Your stylist certainly has outdone himself this time, hasn't he? <laughs> what theatricality! Sit down! Take a bow! <laughs> but Peter, the wedding, the marriage, never to be. Well, actually, we got married in secret. A secret wedding? All right, do tell. We, we want our love to be eternal. Cool. You know, Katniss and I, we've been, we've been luckier than most. I wouldn't have any regrets at all if, if it weren't... If, if it weren't for what? 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 If it weren't for the baby. All right, this is news. Let's find out more. Calm down. This is news to all of us. All right. Let's, um, everybody calm down. It's a great night, great night. This is news to all of us. All right, all right, all right. We're going to find out what we do about this. What's going on? to know that I'm alive, that I'm in District 8, where the Capitol just bombed a hospital filled with unarmed men, women, and children, and there will be no survivors. If you think for one second that the Capitol will ever treat us fairly, you are lying to yourselves, because we know who they are and what they do. This is what they do. And we must fight back! I have a message for President Snow. You can torture us and bomb us and burn our districts to the ground. But do you see that? Fire is catching. And if we burn, you burn with us!
That's a marking jay. Shut up. You want me to sing? Are you, are you coming to the tree? They strung up a man, they say who murdered three. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be If we met at midnight in the hanging tree Are you, are you coming to the tree Where a dead man called out for his love to flee Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be If we met at midnight Night in the hanging tree Are you, are you Coming to the tree Where I told you to run So we'd both be free Strange things did happen here No stranger would it be If we met at midnight In the hanging tree Are you, are you Coming to the tree Where night that line was originally a necklace of rope. I had to change the necklace of hope. Oh, you are a true wordsmith. It's a little on the nose, but of course, so is war. Swallow. Don't touch. No, no, no. Calm down. Calm down. You're okay. Tell her she's awake. Peter. Don't try to talk. Peter's okay, I promise. I just had to get him off. It's called hijacking. We don't know how long the Capitol's been doing this to Peter. It's fear conditioning, enhanced with tracker jacker venom. You were stung your first games, remember? The venom puts the subject in a dissociative state. And they torture him with shocks and beatings and strip down his identity. And then all of that suffering and fear is redirected, associated with other memories or a person. They can change his memories of Katniss? To make her seem life-threatening. They turned him into a weapon, Katniss. To kill you. But you can reverse it. Fear is the most difficult thing to overcome. We're hardwired to remember fear best. It's new terrain. But we've put together a team. I'm optimistic. Yeah! <laughs> 
Look at me. Stay with me. Always. Oh, Come on. I know where we are. I know a place. Up those stairs. Keep going. Panem. Today, on the Avenue of the Tributes, all of Panem, a free Panem, will watch more than a mere spectacle. We are gathered to witness an historic moment of justice. Today, the greatest friend to the revolution will fire the shot to end all wars. May her arrow signify the end of tyranny and the beginning of a new era. Mockingjay, may your aim be as true as your heart is pure. I have nightmares too. Someday I'll explain it to you. Why they came. Why they won't ever go away. But I'll tell you how I survive it. I make a list in my head of all the good things I've seen someone do. Every little thing I can remember. It's like a game. I do it over and over. It gets a little tedious after all these years, but there are much worse games to play. <laughs> 